Democrats. Democrat rule is uh, always superb. You know, I love how when they complain I don't, I don't, about no. about the things, the bad things that have happened in America, and then if you ever challenge them on it, it's always the progressives who are in charge when the bad things happen. Always, every single time. Always, <laughs> every time. They're in charge of the racism policies. They're in charge of the disasters. They're in charge of the wars. They're in charge every single time. Anything you want to complain about, well, congratulations. Go see them. Yeah, go talk to the Democrats about it because they did it. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, Don Lemon doing a little whining right now. Uh, he <laughs> whined yesterday about Elon Musk. Uh, Unbelievable. And then... And then he went on CNN. He ran I back to the place that fired him. Goes back to CNN, <laughs> crying to CNN, and they let him on. Yeah, yeah. and they and did. they let him on just because mm-hmm. I, I think the only reason that they would let him on is just their hatred for Elon. Sure. Right? Oh yeah. For I sure. mean, that, because they got no mm-hmm. love for Don Lemon, but yeah. just you know, Elon was like, uh, you know what? We're not going to pay you to do a show, <laughs> right? Uh, Except they are. You, they're paying him not to do the show, actually. They don't like him so much. They're paying him $25 million <laughs> over three years not to do the oh, well, show. Elon will find a way around that. Let's hope. <laughs> yeah. All right. Here, uh, Here's what he had to say. Do you believe that X and you have some responsibility to moderate hate speech on the platform? That you wouldn't have to answer these questions from reporters about the Great Replacement Theory as it relates to I don't to have to answer these questions. The Great Replacement Theory as it relates Thank to you. Jewish people. Do you think that... I don't have to answer questions from reporters. Don, the only reason I'm doing this interview is because you're on the X platform and you asked for it. Uh, otherwise, I would not do interview, this interview. So you don't think, that you, hmm. do you think that you wouldn't get in trouble or you wouldn't be criticized for trouble. these things? I'm or criticized that constantly. Was... I could care less. Couldn't care. Oh, right. Right. Don't get hung up. So many ways. Right, I, have two, I have two things I want to ask you about that, couldn't. Don. First, the great replacement theory. Right. As you bring it up, yeah, um, Aaron. you know, he has it. tweeted, uh, mm. a tweet he shared, increasing illegals <laughs> boost Dem voting power, causing them to recruit more. Mm-hmm. If Dems win President, House, and Senate, they'll grant citizenship to all legals, and America will become a permanent one-party deep socialist state. Mm-hmm. Right? He has gone there directly. Uh, how much does he stand by the these ideas? Well, he didn't quite seem to understand that he did. Uh, originally, he did that with Jewish people, sort of a great replacement theory thing that he did with Jewish people, and he got in trouble oh and he had to gosh. go to Auschwitz and, and answer questions and, and apologize and go with Ben Shapiro. But um, he doesn't understand that that sort of rhetoric that he talks about, the Great Replacement Theory and, um, and a migrant invasion, mm-hmm. that's what radicalized shooters use in their manifestos. Oh, so stop it! Oh, the people oh my who go gosh. and shoot up people, whether they oh. be Latino people this who is live in Texas or black people yeah. who are in a supermarket mm-hmm. yeah. uh, in Buffalo he said or still be Jewish X, people who are, just not, who are worshiping. Not doing a separate Those show. people use the same rhetoric, mm-hmm. that they are tropes. That they're either racist like, for yeah. Latinos or black people or for Jewish this people. That's why you're not on and CNN anymore. And I wanted to know anymore, if, he, if he felt any responsibility uh, uh, as someone who has the, one of the largest mm. social media and information platforms in the world. Quarter billion people. A quarter billion people. I think it's 455 or 500 million users a week. Okay, so what? And it doesn't seem that he feels that he has mm. any responsibility with that because he seemed really averse to facts. Yeah. Oh, jeez. It's uh, free oh speech. My oh, my gosh. So, so they want control. They want somebody to, uh, to control your speech Yeah, is effectively what it is. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Just well, go it's hard to sit through. Just go be with your boyfriend on the beach down and yeah. leave us be. Be nice. Yeah, it'd be nice. Wait, do what on the beach? What did you say? Go be with his boyfriend oh, on the beach. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or that mm-hmm. bar he was at, right? <laughs> Oh, no, that's right. Those no, charges that were not... dropped. <laughs> My bad. Those charges were Was that Don, though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that was Don. Okay. Where, where he was accused of mm-hmm. grabbing someone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, you're at a bar. Get mm-hmm. over it. <laughs> Hold on. If you don't want to get grabbed, I'm on Don's side here. Don't, get, don't go to the oh, bar. Is you. that your theory there? Thank you. Okay. Hold on. So, All right. so just a public service <laughs> announcement. The more you know, Jeff Fisher, if you don't want to be grabbed, don't go to a bar. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Noted. All right. (laughs) Just part of the splendor that is Jeff Fisher. Fisher.